How's it going, guys? Hank here, back again for another short video on the Big Blue Avenue YouTube channel. And uh, it's been a while since I've really done any videos on this YouTube channel, but I'm pretty excited for the start of football season. You can tell, rocking my old school Carl Banks jersey just for the hell of it. But in any event, we have some stuff to talk about. But before I get into the, any of that, I want to give you guys a friendly neighborhood reminder. Please don't forget to follow us on our social medias. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Big Blue Avenue. And of course, as always, please don't forget to hit that big red button down below. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Let us know your thoughts. We want to hear from you guys. So the Giants, unfortunately, can't seem to catch a break with injuries and depth to the offensive line or lack thereof. Marcus McKeithen, the fifth round pick out of UNC, tore his ACL last Friday and is out for the season. And he was working at right tackle due to the lack of uh, offensive lineman depth they have during the fan best scrimmage. But unfortunately, while trying during the scrimmage, he fell down. There was a severe pain going down pain in his leg and he had to get carted off. And as the doctors pretty much announced, he had torn his ACL. So he is pretty much going to be done for the season. And yeah, as I mentioned, the giants couldn't catch a break. He is now the second offensive lineman to be down this week. They also lost Matt Gano to a series of bad neck injuries. This one actually might be career ending for him. So the depth at the off at the offensive line position is being has been tested early and often for the Giants. So now, now the question is, what are they going to be doing to replace McKeithen? So because they did just sign Will Holden, the journeyman offensive lineman who I believe last played for the Detroit Lions a year ago. And they also did it do have some other guys on the roster that they had signed during the free agency free agency period and Max Garcia and Jamil Douglas. And you have another guard out of UNC that's Josh as you do. And of course you also have Ben Bredesen who you traded for less than a year ago to pretty much be a band-aid and fill in some other holes on the offensive line. But in any event, Tough blow and really, really bad loss for the Giants this year. What they're going to do about that remains to be seen. They could probably play one of the guys that I just mentioned. Or maybe they go out and sign another dream offensive lineman. We'll see what Joe Shane does. But in any event, it's bad luck. And let me uh, knock on my uh, wooden desk here that nothing bad happens to our offensive line the rest of the way. I mean, we need Daniel Jones to be protected best as possible. But... That about wraps it up for this short little video on the Big Blue Avenue channel. And before I end things, I want to also mention that we are sponsored by, by uh, BetUS. You can sign in with our promo code, code JOIN125. Please click on the link below if you're interested. Get all your sports betting anytime, anywhere, straight from your mobile device. And of course, as always, please don't forget to follow us on all of our all of our social medias. Don't forget to give us a follow on our Twitter and Insta at Big Blue Ab. And of course, please don't forget to hit that big red button down below. What are your thoughts? What do you think Joe Shane is going to do to address another hole in the offensive line? Do you think he's going to sign someone to fill up the depth? Do you think any of the names that I just mentioned will be taking his place? at that at the right tackle position i want to hear your thoughts in the comments but for now i'm hank and dictor and i will talk to you guys later during the football season with tom i know he and i cannot wait to get back at it with the live streams but until next time i'll see you guys later